Hello again, Kingston Town Administrator Keith Hickey with the latest edition of This Week in Kingston for the week ending December 1st. Hard to believe Christmas is 25 days away. Uh, but I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving uh, and are able to enjoy prepping for the Christmas season and and uh, getting everything ready for family and friends. Um, a lot of things happening in town. Um, some of the things I want to make you aware of. Uh, the, the town recently... Um, uh, was able to contract with our community choice power supply company uh, at a rate of uh, 14.476 per kilowatt hour. Um, that rate right now is 16% lower than what Eversource is offering. Eversource is offering a rate of 17.25 cents per kilowatt hour. So um, what they're telling us is that's an average savings about $17 a month uh, for people. So uh, you've got that rate locked in through july of 2024 so hopefully people take advantage of that if they want to uh if you're already in the uh power supply chain you're that that those rates are, are effective already if you're not you can visit the town website there's a uh a link on the town website uh you can you can click on that link and and follow the the prompts to get yourself signed up and and try to save yourself a little bit of money um something exciting happening on saturday december 2nd for those who are seeing this either uh, December 1st or early December 2nd, uh, Santa Claus will be at the um, Kingston Recreation Department uh, at 33 Summer Street at the lower level um, for uh, photos with your pets. So if you have an interest in bringing your dog, cat, or other type of pet down to um, the Reed Center, the lower level on Saturday the 2nd from 10 to 12, uh, swing in. Uh, it's ten dollars a photo, but in the in those funds go to um, the Kings of the Animal Shelter to help us with the cost of that. Uh, so it's a great opportunity to uh, to have uh, a nice picture taken with whatever pet you have. So just swing down if you can. One of the big events that go on every every year in Kingston is the luminary uh, display. This year it's going to be on December sixteenth. Um, roads will begin closing around five o'clock. Uh, in the in the afternoon, tree lighting and, and caroling begin at six uh, on the town green. Open houses at the churches and the Adams Center uh, and the Surprise Host House uh, end about eight thirty in the evening. So they'll be open from about six to eight thirty. The library and recreation acti activities will be from about five thirty to eight. Uh, Santa Claus will be there. So if you have uh, somebody who's interested in, in meeting Santa Claus, is sitting on his, on their lap and. Um, Sharing what they're interested in for Christmas, uh, swing by. Santa, I'm sure, would be happy to uh, to see you and uh, spend a little time with uh, with a child. Um, everything is free, um, so please try to stop by. Uh, Main Street is gorgeous uh, with the luminaries lit up and, and whatnot. Uh, Santa Claus will be at the library. So if you're able to stop by for uh, pictures and whatnot, we'd love to have you. Um It'll be a nice uh, a nice opportunity to uh, to to spend outside. Hopefully, it'll be a uh, a nice night and people can get out, and walk around, and be be as comfortable as you can be in the middle of December. Uh, the board is having a meeting next week. Um, fairly late agenda. The, we'll be discussing uh, going out to. We're going to be going out to bid. I think as a community uh, for our legal services. We've had to use the same law firm now for over three years, and the board I think is interested in seeing what else. Uh, what what the cost may be and what opportunities may be for, to to look and see what other opportunities are out there for legal firms. Um, also, be discussing the uh, safety audit report for Landing Road. Um, we had uh, Old Colony Planning Commission come out and do a traffic study and and try to get a sense of uh, what the traffic is like uh, if there can be some. Um, safety improvements made on Landing Road to try to address some concerns that have been raised by some of the residents down there. Uh, overall, the, uh, the the traffic safety study um, indicated there's not a lot of speeding down there. Uh, there is some concerns about the narrow bridge, obviously, uh, and, and some thoughts about uh, how we try to address that. Um, myself, uh, the police chief, our planning director have gone to the town of Duxbury um, Highway Safety Committee now a couple of times. We've had some some very good discussions with with uh, the town of Duxby about trying to address um, limiting traffic or truck traffic, I guess I should say, on, on Landing Road. So we'll update the board uh, and the public on Tuesday night about uh, what's happening there. <clears throat> Beyond that, there's a donation to accept. Um, 
we're also looking to declare uh, some of the um, the docks that are down at the Ardena um, uh, surplus property uh, because they are uh, they're they're at a point stage in their in their useful life that they uh, can, shouldn't be used anymore. They're a safety hazard. We do have funding uh, in place for for some new docks, so we're looking to declare those surplus and and dispose of those docks as well. So uh, some some housekeeping type items next week. Uh, we'll also be discussing, I guess, lastly, uh, changing some of the inspectional fees um, that uh, our inspectors building electrical health. I'm not sorry, building electrical uh, plumbing inspectors all uh, all charge. <clears throat> excuse me, charge for the variety of permits that we issue to front the inspections office. So we'll be discussing that as well. So uh, still a lot going on. We're in the process now of finalizing a capital improvement plan. Department has will be finishing submitting their budgets uh, to start that review. So um, we uh, will be reviewing budgets and making a recommended presentation of a budget to the Board of Selectmen uh, early in 2024. So um, a lot of things uh, still remain going on behind the scenes. So with, with that, I want to thank everybody much for, for watching. I hope everybody has a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you again next week. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.